SMT Nation, what is going on? It's your boy, the SMT. The next U.S. Spectrum auction is set. It is now official. Uh, we have a date. We have October 5th, 2021. Uh, it was supposed to be done by the end of the year, so this puts it right there smack dab the last quarter, uh, but at the beginning of quarter four, so that's good. Auction 110, technically the um, I think this is 5G auction number three. We had millimeter wave, obviously, uh, C-band as well as CBRS, so the FCC has released an official public notice PDF. We've got the rules, the procedures. I think the reserve price was also set $14.7 billion. I'm sure it's probably going to exceed this based on what we saw with CBRS before as well as um, C-band. So uh, I would say it would go above that reserve price. Details, this is CBRS 3.5 gigahertz, lower block. I believe it stretches 3.45 to 3.55. Uh, there's over 4,000 licenses up for auction and bids here. 406 PEAs in all, 100 megahertz of spectrum depth auctioned in 10 megahertz sub blocks. Uh, the rules limit that no entity can have more than 40 megahertz within a specific PEA or market. Uh, this is awesome, obviously. Uh, I'm a big mid band guy. So, uh, you know, one thing I thought of is this is a great mid band spectrum. The frequency obviously lends itself to some decent propagation and also some range potential, uh, depending on the power, obviously. Uh, it's a nice amount of channel depth, potentially. So if a, you know, a carrier mobile operator wanted to have a 40 megahertz channel, they could do that. Uh, it ranges from anywhere between 10 to 40 megahertz. So if they want a little bit or if they want a lot, they can do that. Uh, obviously, the concern here is going to be the power level with it being military uh, transition. Uh, and obviously they're operating within that same frequency range. Uh, the Department of Defense and other government agencies do have, uh, you know, priority and seniority over this. So interference concerns do exist. The interference concerns specifically affect potentially 120 different PEAs. This would, I think, occupy about 22% of the U.S. population. So carriers obviously will need to evaluate the effectiveness. Therefore, the value of this particular band of spectrum the SMT takeaways, this is really good. We get another auction of mid-band to use for 5G. This particular one could have some great potential and capacity and coverage. Think about DISH, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile getting more spectrum to deploy. I like the format, the 10 megahertz sub-blocks, the 40 megahertz limit. So, you know, there's a lot of potential bidders as well as those if they want to have nice size chunks, they can. Do have the power concerns, obviously. Uh, there may be some carriers who decide to sit this out, you know, based on that power level. So that's something that we're going to have to monitor closely. Uh, but I could definitely see a lot of carriers getting active in extremely densely populated areas where the concerns of interference are reduced. Uh, power affects range, obviously, and indoor penetration potential. So is this going to be a macro type application or is it going to be more of like a small cell micro cell type of application or both? That all kind of depends. If I was going to put a prediction to it, I think Verizon obviously already having CBRS licenses and actively using a lot of general access licenses, or excuse me, general access spectrum, I expect them to pick their spots with this. I could see it just like what they did with the first round of CBRS last year, uh, you know, them doing something like 30 to 40 megahertz in their top 46 PAs. I think AT&T is probably going to pick some spots here too, uh, maybe even T-Mobile a little bit. They obviously are. Uh, owners of some licenses, you know, within specific locations. Uh, Dish, I would actually expect them to go national here uh, because they might come in at a better value. Uh, they might go like 30 to 40 megahertz, possibly national. Who knows? Uh, just kind of depends. Uh, this is where I think private networking also can kind of take their spot, cable operators, because it probably won't price anyone out. It'll be a better value than, say, for example, C-band. If the band does go high power, all bets are off. I know that the FCC commissioner, Brendan Carr, seems in favor of this. I've seen the tweets. You know, I've, I've seen the line of tweets, actually, where he speaks to this. Uh, bidding will obviously intensify and generate way more money, maybe double or triple the money if it does go higher power. Regardless, this creates a new 5G band, a new 5G channel for some providers, and it also probably widens channels for other providers. Either way, I'm happy. I'm I'm like a, you know, like a kid at a candy store whenever we're talking about more spectrum coming to the mobile operators. Let me know what you think of the auction rules. Let me know what you think of the auction timeline. 
who do you think is going to walk away with the most? Where um, the one thing I'm most concerned about, obviously, is the power levels. What do you think is going to come of this? Do you think the FCC is going to go ahead and be able to pull the trigger on broadcasting it for higher power? Uh, do you think they'll be hesitant with the DOD concerns and interference? Do you think it's going to affect bidding and cost and you know proceeds? Love to hear what you have to say. Uh, go ahead and sound off in the comment section below. The voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. And if you are a real one and you watch this all the way through, hashtag CBRS. If you're a real one, hashtag CBRS. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here today. Have a great rest of the day, and we'll catch you all on the next video. Peace. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new and have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.